Hello Cancer, welcome to a you and them love reading for May 2021. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. Uh, as always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So feel free to take what resonates and discard the rest. If this doesn't resonate at all, then check out my playlist for Cancer. It'll be linked in the comments. All right, so let's get into this for Cancer Spirit. Messages for Cancer regarding love. What is going on for them in love at this time? May 2021 for Cancer. Now Cancer, this will be a reading for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, we got number 28, Victory. So that's that's a good sign. Something that is just successful. I couldn't even talk there. Successful. Um, someone being recognized. Let's see. Let's get some more energies. Gives you my stellar energy oracle deck here. All of the decks that I use, as well as my book. Uh, my website, personal reading information, the rings that I wear, everything that you would want to know is in the description box. Okay, Spirit Angels guys, for Cancer. For Cancer, what's going on for them in love at this time? Oh, we got true love. What else for Cancer? This is looking really good so far, Cancer inner voice so inner voice is a card about your intuition about answers guidance um, and true love is a card about coming together a strong union a strong connection um, some of you could be dealing with a situation where you're not in contact very much with your person I feel like if that is the case, there's definitely victory or success destined for that connection. Others of you, I get the feeling the inner voice card is almost like someone's not admitting their true feelings or communicating their true feelings. We'll see. I'm going to look at the tarot and get some more insight here. Which card do I want to use? I think I'll use this. What's going on for cancer and love? What's going on for cancer? And this connection spirit, what's going on for them and love? Six of Swords. What's going on for them in love? Some sort of a departure, long distance, uh, a move of some sort, a visit. Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this is a departure, like the end of a cycle here. What's this Ten of Wands about? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Strength. Leo Energy. Why is the Ten of Wands here? one's about king of cups someone has been um i feel like there's a lot of uh love here or emotions with the king of cups i feel like someone's had to be strong with some sort of a difficulty obligation burden this could be an emotional burden as well you could be dealing with a leo or a water sign but i'm getting that this this ten of wands is about being emotionally strong enough to deal with a difficult situation. What's the Six of Swords about? Why is the Six of Swords here? Queen. 
queen of swords. Why is the six of swords here? Queen of wands. Knight of wands at the bottom of the deck. Let me get one more. Why is the Six of Swords here? Six of Swords. Two of Cups. Wow. There's definitely a strong connection here. Where you mirror each other. Where there's a partnership. Have the Sun at the bottom of the deck with the Nine of Cups. So definitely something that is emotionally fulfilling, something that feels satisfying, that makes someone very happy. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo. But others of you, I feel like this is a connection that makes you very happy. But for some reason it requires, it, there, there's a departure involved here. I don't know if someone left in the past. I don't know if someone needs to leave a situation in order to come to you or vice versa. But I feel like love is definitely here, passion, um, wanting to take action, cut something out possibly. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. This could be either cutting something out or having a serious discussion about something. What's this Queen? Now well, we got Justice, Libra Energy. So this is someone I feel like wants to definitely use this sword. <laughs> to cut something out of their life and have justice, have something be fair, balanced for them. So let's see, how are you thinking or feeling about each other? Tell me more about Cancer and this other person. What are their energies at this time? Cancer and this other person. What do we need to know about Cancer and this other person? Tell me about Cancer. Bat. So you're definitely going through some sort of change, transformation, the end of a cycle. I have you on this side, Cancer. I have the other person here, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with. me about this other person spider so this person is thinking of creating something working on something focused the spider is a card that's very similar to like the eight of pentacles you know someone that's really working hard being creative isn't afraid of hard work isn't afraid of doing work putting in the work etc Okay, let's get some more information. I'm using my brand new Stellar Rainbow Oracle deck. This is linked down below along with my other decks. Tell me more about Cancer and this other person's spirit. Tell me more about Cancer. Tell me more about Cancer. Honest, sincere, and genuine. This is the way that you are about this situation, Cancer, or the way that you see this other person. Maybe this is um, a change that's happening in your life or you're being a bit more um, open, upfront. Bottom of the deck, we have successful, accomplished, and stable. So I feel like there's definitely a success, a theme of success here. Maybe this is what you ultimately want with someone, um, long-term security, stability. Tell me about this other person that Cancer is dealing with. Tell me about this other person. Oh, I got two. Number 17, considerate, thoughtful, and generous. 
This person definitely wants to give you something, a gift, make you an offer of some sort. Spirit is also here, number 16, guided and protected. So this is reminding me of that inner voice card. Maybe this person's being guided. Maybe they're listening to their intuition, listening to their heart. Um, but they definitely want to give you something here with that card. Number 17. Let me grab another one for this person. Can I have one more, please? Spirit, tell me more about this person that Cancer is dealing with. What do I need to know? What do I need to know? Okay, number 18, child. So child card, I mean, it could be a card about children, but it's really a card about new beginnings, um, something new and experienced, something um, almost like a, a new journey. So I feel like this person is working on a new beginning of some sort in their life. And I feel like you're doing that as well because you have the bat. It's very similar energy. Okay, so let's see. Let's get some tarot in here. Spirit Angels guys, tell me more. Before Cancer. Tell me about Cancer. going on with cancer right now when it comes to this connection the wheel of fortune yeah you're going through some sort of change and it could be spiritually guided with the wheel there is a uh, fate fortune on your side you I mean there's also justice here move this here tell me more Tell me more for cancer. What's going on for them at this time? Ten of Swords. Yep. There's some sort of uh, ending of a cycle for you. For sure. What's this wheel about? Why is the wheel here? Eight of Swords, there could be fear regarding this change. Maybe you've been feeling stuck and the wheel is here to help you. Tell me more about the wheel. Seven of Cups, options, choices. Can I get one more for this wheel? Ace of Cups, wow. Yeah, so I feel like this wheel is going to bring about either new love or options regarding love. Something very healing, loving. I have the star at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius energy there. So what's with this Ten of Swords? What's this Ten of Swords about? Nine of Swords. So this has been a difficult cycle for you. Um, I feel it's been um, emotionally um difficult there's fear here there is uh pain anxiety but i feel like this end of a cycle is going to bring about some sort of growth for you i have the empress here some sort of manifestation abundance with the empress and the ace of cups definitely yeah and the two of cups again so i feel like there's nothing to fear for you cancer this was meant to happen the way that it's happening right now I don't think it's a coincidence we have the two of cups twice the ace of cups here i mean this is beautiful energy tell me about cancer's person what do we need to know spirit about cancer's person what do we need to know about them okay we got the page of wands what do we need to know about this person? Two of Wands. Okay, 
Why the two of wands? Oh, I got two. Nine of wands, four of pentacles. They've been holding on to something or have been, um, yeah, almost like stubbornly holding on to something here holding back possibly or just being very defensive protective guarded this person's very guarded here i have the moon at the bottom of the deck pisces energy so once again maybe this is someone that hasn't um communicated something or has held something kept something to themselves sorry let me see tell me more about this nine of wands and this four of pentacles tell me about this nine of wands Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person, it's like they haven't decided whether to communicate something or take steps towards something new here with the Page of Wands, Two of Wands. The Four of Swords is a card about um, doing a lot of thinking, but not a lot of action. And I find it very interesting that we have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. So holding back from action or communication for sure. Why the Four of Swords with the Four of Pentacles? Why the why the holding back? Why is the Four of Pentacles with the Four of Swords spirit? Why is the four of Queen of Cups? Out of okay, I got um the message that I just got was out of respect. Um, let me move this down. Uh, it's a very strange message to get out of respect. I don't know why this person would keep and, and I feel like whatever they're holding back is emotional. Can I get one more for the four of Pentacles for a swords? Four of Pentacles, four of swords. Why is the four of Pentacles? The hermit. Yeah, this person Virgo energy, they have not communicated something to you. They haven't told you something. They've been withdrawn, um, been trying to figure something out, thinking about something, waiting. I have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck, two of wands here as well. So what would they tell you then? What's this page of wands about? What, why is the page of wands here? Why is the page of wands here? Nine of Cups. Why is the Page of Wands here? The Emperor. Wow, we have the Emperor and the Empress. Aries energy. This is about taking charge of a situation, taking, taking control over your own happiness. I feel this is a divine counterpart for you, whoever this is, with the Emperor and the Empress and the Two of Cups. Tell me about this Page of Wands feel like communicating for you would make them very happy, but there's 10 of wands. So there's some sort of burden or baggage here. Why is the 10 of wands here? This could be in the form of uh, obligations, responsibilities this person has, or just baggage from the past that's affecting your connection now. Why is the 10 of wands here? What's this 10 of wands about? Knight of Swords, this fell out as well, Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like someone is um, worried about communication here with the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, will it be a good communication? Will I get rejected? What will happen here? Yeah, Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is someone that has held back due to maybe... Um, I don't know if they're holding back out of respect. That could be as well. But now I'm thinking they might be holding back because they don't know how it's going to turn out. Maybe they're worried about whatever baggage is here. And they worry that the baggage might be too much. There's some sort of truth here with the Knight of Swords. What's with this Knight of Swords? judgment oh this is about the past this could be somebody wanting a second chance and there's a strength card again 
Leo energy. So this could be somebody wanting to talk about the past in order to have a new cycle after judgment comes the world. This could be somebody that has some sort of truth to tell you that maybe they haven't told you. I feel like this person has held back their true feelings. Um, I don't think they're wanting to hold back forever. I think they're working up the courage to admit how they feel. And um, I feel like this is going to bring about some sort of change. I feel like whatever cycle has closed for you or whatever um, difficulty you've been through, Cancer, um, I feel like that's why the wheel is here. It's almost like there's going to be a shift for you. Let's see what this person's thinking or feeling about you. I'm going to use my Secret Moon Oracle deck. What are they thinking or feeling about Cancer Spirit? What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Cancer or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Cancer? I'm struggling. Yeah, that's that Ten of Wands. What are you thinking or feeling when it comes to Cancer? I'm not giving up. Let's do one more. Tell me more about this person. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Cancer? I'm afraid. Okay. <laughs> so they definitely want to address something. That's for sure. I'm not giving up. They're not giving up on, I feel, I feel something's definitely taking some work here. It's difficult for them. They're struggling, but they're not giving up on this connection or on what they need to do here. I feel like there's fear. That's why we have the seven of pentacles down here where it's like there's fear over maybe rejection, fear about how you're going to take something. Um, maybe it'll be sudden and unexpected. This message with the Knight of Swords might like coming in quick and kind of surprise you. Um, I feel like they have fear that maybe they won't be able to have a second chance or address what they need to address because they've held back for sure. So where is all of this headed? We're going to look at all of that in the extended as well as what's going on behind the scenes that you need to know about um, so feel free to check out the extended if you want some bonus information on the outcome that will be linked in the description box or pinned in the comments otherwise i'll leave it here cancer thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this reading please consider hitting the like button subscribing or leaving me a comment i'd love to hear from you and i will see you all in another video very soon take care